Boom, what's up? So force is force is force. What the heck is this guy talking about? Force is force is force, right? So a couple of things that we use to adjust and create this quantifiable metric to adjust from when we're lifting weights or moving ropes or even doing elastic bands or whatever, it's force times distance over time. Force times distance over time. That creates power output. And whether power output is for a long time or short time, right, that, that has to do with your system, how it's designed, how your metabolic pathways work, how your biomechanical advantages or disadvantages, do you have stabilization, do you have mobilized uh, joints where they need to be mobilized. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. This is a very complex, awesome, incredible system that we have in this body. But force is force is force. So force doesn't say that it has to be a rock creating input on me, or better yet, a dumbbell creating input on me, or a kettlebell creating input on me, or a barbell creating input on me. It's whatever it is that I'm using, right? It could be my own speed going against gravity in some leveraged form biomechanically, right? That's generating input that my body now has to adapt to. My tendons, my muscles, my bones, uh, that fascial system, right? That connects everything uh, that my PNS has to deal with, right? Proprioceptors and, and my CNS, my brain has to contend with and figure out how it's going to sequence and time it all. So it, it's most efficient, right? Again, going into the complex, but force is force is force. That's it. It doesn't have to be a dumbbell. It doesn't have to be a kettlebell. Although many people will say that it has to be a kettlebell or it has to be a barbell. That's the only way to get strong. Well, th the only way to get strong is to put enough force through that body, through that particular movement pattern, through that particular joint complex and, and muscle to create adaptation. That's it. So whether you use a barbell or a rope, these are simple principles that we tend to get away from because we get so locked in to the religion of kettlebell or we get so locked in to the mantra of barbell or we get so locked in to the church of uh, deadlift that we forget that there's some basic principles that are science, period. I, I didn't make it up. I'm not that smart. I was just able to read it and then remember it so I could say it to you. But remember, force is force is force. And if that's the case, I can create whatever force that I want in whatever way that I want with this versatile tool to get the adaptations that I want to a degree. Obviously, there is limits or ceilings. Um, but I haven't found one yet. Enjoy.